Hey everyone, Nathan here with the ebookreader.com. So today, I've got the Onyx Books Nova Pro here on hand, and I'm gonna show you guys how it handles PDF files. So let's crank up the front light a little so we get it a little clearer on the screen here. Uh, so Onyx just updated their software. We got this new 2.1 software. It looks a lot different than their previous software that was on their uh, Onyx devices. So let's go ahead and fire it up. On the home screen here, you've got the different sections for your apps. You got like the storage here where you can uh, check your files, move stuff around. It's kind of like a basic file manager. Got the notes section and uh, like a Chinese ebook store, which you can disable. Uh, so like on the main home screen, it just sort of lists your books. Uh, you can create different folders if you want to. So I got these PDF, uh, these test PDF files in a folder here. You got the different views if you want to use list view or cover view. Um, you've also got, so you can like move stuff around. Um, you can create uh, additional folders, sub folders within folders. There are some different sorting options as well. You know, you got the usual recently added, uh, recently read. You can sort by author and uh, you've got some different filters. All right, so let's load up a PDF here. This is just sort of like a typical test PDF here. It kind of depends. You know, you got the 7.8 inch ink screen, so it's not the best option for PDFs. I also use the Onyx Note. It's got the 10.3 inch screen. It's a little bit better for stuff like this. Uh, but there are some different zooming options. I'll get into that later. Let's sort of talk about some of the new interface layout here. So you got the uh, different tabs along the top. You can have up to four documents open at the same time. You can jump back and forth uh, easily with the tab. So that's kind of helpful. You can have different, you know, zoom levels set on each one. And you can use them in different ways. Then below the tabs there, you've got some different options for like notes. And you can adjust the front light. You've got the text to speech option there, search and page refresh. Uh, then you've got the like more uh, detailed settings menu in here. You can use these different custom tap zones. You can set up your own custom tap zones if you want uh, to page forward and back and access the menu. Uh, so these Onyx devices, they do have text-to-speech. You can use that text-to-speech, switch it over to the other options as well. Um, you've got some different export settings. So uh, up here, if you hit this icon, you can set your refresh frequency. That'll depend on like, how often the page fully refreshes, does that black flash. You can also use the fast page mode, which works pretty well on here. You might get a little bit of ghosting with some of the after with some after image effects, but overall the fast mode actually works quite well. I'm not seeing much ghosting on here. All right, so this PDF has pretty large margins. Let's go ahead and reformat this a bit here. Let's zoom it in, uh, cut out the margins here so it goes width to width. You can see the screen a little bit better, see the text on the screen. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about the zooming options here. So I'm kind of jumping around a lot here. It's kind of a lot of stuff to show with these uh, different features, but um, up here you got the search icon as well. You can run searches. I always kind of like how Onyx's devices uh, work with search results because uh, it'll just give you a list and then once you uh, select something from the list and it works pretty quick too to load all these results here. Uh, once you select something, you can actually use this icon at the bottom here to jump around uh, to other results. So you can also use the stylus for all these menu icons. So with the Wacom stylus, you can write on PDFs. You can use it to select menu items, of course, as well. You can use your finger for that as well. You can write in the margins with the PDF files. You can write directly on them. Also has that note app where you can use the notes separately. I'll show that more in the full review. So you can also disable like the note uh, taking ability. So you can use the stylus more for selecting text. If you want to look up words in the dictionary, you can use it for that. You can also use it to uh, highlight text. They got some different kind of highlights. You got some underlines like the squiggly line, the straight line. Uh, they got the gray and black option so you can just highlight it like regular if you want to so I've got some different options with the new software on here uh, again with the zooming modes you got this little uh, icon to increase and decrease the zooming modes on here you can also do the auto crop which will get rid of the margins on the left and right I'm not quite sure what this crop step thing does things are a bit different with this new software I don't see the manual crop option anymore but it's, these other ones do seem to work pretty well uh, and you've also got the contrast adjustment tool so you can make the text appear bolder. You can adjust the image and the text separately. Uh, I do like having the text bolder because uh, you can get it quite a bit bolder on this end. But this is how it is by default. So it's kind of a gray color. Uh, it definitely helps to add some darkness to the text, especially with PDF. Some of them are really light gray. So Onyx's NeoReader software has the option to reflow PDFs as well. Uh, you may find that, uh, you know, some of the times it doesn't do such a great job of it. Uh, it just sort of depends on the individual PDF and how it's formatted. Sort of like basic text-based PDFs are going to fare better uh, than more complex files. But, you know, it's just sort of one of those things you got to experiment with. Uh, so right now it basically looks how it did when we had it zoomed in. Uh, you know, had the margin crop, so it's not a whole lot of difference there. But you got some more control over the layout with text reflow. 
gives you some more options to work with. So another one of the features these devices have is the uh, option to use side notes. So you can write directly on the PDFs and then when you export that, it'll be a separate PDF file with your notes written on it. Uh, you've also got the option for side notes. So that is a separate page that you can add here with your notes written on that. You've got some different settings up here as well. Similar to the Note app, you don't have all the same features that the Note app has, but you still got like the different colors to work with. You got the uh, different shapes, different pens, different line thicknesses. You can switch it over to the left side of the screen if you're left-handed. Uh, you can add pages to your note. And so now this gets associated with the document instead of the page um, with the newest firmware here. So it doesn't have like the templates. As you can notice, it doesn't have like any line paper options for the side note. It just has the blank white papers. So of course you can switch over to landscape mode as well. It's kind of another way to work uh, with the smaller screen size of the Onyx Nova, but uh, it does work quite well. That way it's just going to cut your PDF into multiple sections. Uh, but obviously it's a lot easier to read than it is in the uh, portrait mode when the text is a lot smaller. So it gives you another option as well. Another thing they added with this newer software is you have the two page view. So you can view two pages in landscape mode. Obviously, it's probably not going to work too well on a device with this small of a screen because it's going to be really hard to read the text that way. But, I mean, it is an option. You can still write directly on the screen when you have the two-page view and landscape like this. So, uh, it definitely uh, has some more features than your typical e-reader. With this new software here, you got the table of contents. It opens up a side window. You can scroll through it this way, um, and you've got the different uh, levels as well. Uh, and then when you go to a different page, you can still access the table of contents until you tab outside of it got your different bookmarks in here as well, your annotations, anything you've added as far as your notes and highlights go gets added into these sections over here. Uh, you can also export them if you want. Uh, I've got the option to group, export, group, delete. And then you've got this scribble zone here, which shows all the pages you've written on. You can easily jump back and forth to them that way. You can export them as well. Uh, then with the progress section down here, you've got the option to jump around different parts of your book with the dial. Uh, and then it also has your history saved. So like anytime you jumped around a book, even if it was forward, you could use the forward and back to go to those previous pages. Uh, another option down here is the navigation mode. So let's load up a two column PDF. So when you're using the navigation mode, you can set it up uh, different zones, like it'll page forward and uh, you can like customize the exact location of those uh, different windows, like how it'll page forward, exactly how, how it'll crop the page. Um, and then you can, you know, if you have the two pick column PDF, you can just go down the page there's some additional settings in here so you can further customize it like if you have even more columns or if you wanted to set up the different direction um, you can set it to go you know left to right or down to the top like to follow the column exactly how you want it to work there so you got some different settings for that makes it useful uh, for the more uh, varied types of PDFs you have out there because obviously there's a ton of different types you can even set it up for um, even and odd pages if they're laid out differently uh, you got the pinch zooming as well, of course, so you can pinch to zoom in, and it will show you on that little uh, icon that pops up in the corner there how far you zoomed in, what part of the page. Uh, and then once you page forward, it will stay zoomed in, and if you do the zoom out, you can go back to the default layout. Um, another thing on the progress indicator here is the multi-page view. You've got the four and nine-page multi-page view. Uh, it helps to like scan through the PDF if you want to get a quick visual of the different pages. I uh, can jump around this way as well and then use the back dial to go back. Also has that um, slideshow setting in here where it'll automatically turn the pages, uh, set intervals, the uh, auto page turner essentially. Um, and if you tap here, you'll get the page dial. You can enter pages to uh, manually jump to. So um, from the home screen here, like if you wanted to, you could hold down on your book, you can rename it. You can also use other apps since it runs Android. You could install other apps. Uh, I think the Neo Reader app does quite a good job of its own though. So. Uh, another thing I didn't really show here is you got the orange light with the Nova Pro. Uh, you've got the option with the front light. You can set it to orange or light like I had it on the video. You can also set it to sync so it kind of blends the two. Uh, it's not quite as orange that way. All right, so that pretty much covers all the main details in the PDF app on the Nova Pro. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Check out the full review for a closer look at some of the other features where I go into more detail with the ebook app and other parts of the interface as well as the Note app. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.